Is this lens clean? Mm. Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to the next part of this uh, series of desk building or whatever. Uh, basically, we're finishing up what we started here. Uh, it's been a little bit of a learning process. But I went ahead and uh, I wanted to get everything uh, like shown as I could. So without further ado, let's go over what you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is some desk legs. You can choose your own brand, but I like the Uniku ones. These are the ones I'm working with. Uh, same thing as the other ones, and if you need to know how to put this together, you can uh, take a look at the one of my previous videos. I'll put a link in the description of how to put these together. I will note, however, these ones came with the right parts and the correct instructions. Good job, Uniku. I don't know if you watch my stuff, but still, good job. I'm very pleased, even though these aren't mine. Either way, they went together smoothly, so feel free to skip around on that video uh, if you need instructions on how to put this together. The instructions are pretty well designed. I will note, lube all your bolts. Get some 3-in-1 lube, or shoot, even Vaseline would help, but put some sort of protectant on every single screw and nut that you use to put these together. You, not everything's perfect with every single set of these legs. However, it saves you a lot of headache in case something goes wrong. When it's lubed, all the pieces fit together a lot nicer, especially when you're in a big manufacturing business and stuff, you run into little hiccups and stuff, like a bolt not being properly threaded or a hole not being properly machined. It happens. With that being said, we've got all of our pieces. We've got our empty box. I just want to throw it there in case you uh, guys need a reminder. Got these legs. Got really bad lighting. I need studio lighting at this point pretty badly now. But eh. And of course, the desk's top. Hopefully, you saved all your pieces from whenever you were screwing with that piece. This has been sitting here for about three weeks or so. Now, the tools you're going to need is a screwdriver. If you have one that lights up and is electric, even better. But I'd recommend doing things by hand. I would not use a power drill. This is MDF. MDF tears really quickly. Um, I wouldn't even recommend taking this desk apart more than twice without putting uh, some sort of glue, like wood glue, inside the holes for the screws, or thread locker, any type of RTV, something to help the uh, wood secure, because if you keep unscrewing and screwing things in, MDF does not hold up well for that. It falls apart very quickly. If you wanted a better piece of wood, then you can go ahead and get a better piece of wood, but I, it's poor. Anyways, screwdriver. Pretty sure this is the only tool. I will go over more tools in case we uh, run into some issues. Next part, legs. Next part, tabletop. And Ottoman, recliner, step stool, something to lay on because it's a lot easier than trying to do this to lay down on something. Ah. In this box, we have all the extra pieces. We have, which I will, because this is not my desk, I want to take care of this. We have, get out of here. 
the number pad. This is what buttons you push for your adjustments in height. Again, I'm going to keep this kind of wrapped or whatever. Damn it. Next thing. The computer. Uh, this is like the control box. Basically, this is where everything plugs in. Your power supply plugs into here. Uh, there's a few different ways you can mount this. It's actually got little uh, uh, kind of like hooks right here. Kind of hard to see, but um, you can like slide this on something. Yeah. Nothing on here that I would see. You got your control box. You got your bag full of your part number P13, which are zip ties. I will not be using these because I'm going to give these to the to the uh, customer that wants this desk. And these are pretty simple. They just little blue thing. You peel that off and. Uh, you peel this part off, you stick it to the wood, and then this part loops around, goes through the little thingy, and basically, oh, goes this way through it, my bad. And uh, it's a little cable tie. Click. But if you pull it forward, you can release it. Nice. I used all the ones that I have on my desk. The other thing you're going to make sure you need is your part number. Wait. I don't know what part number these are. This is part number P13. P13 are your screws that go from the desk, the legs, to the tabletop. These are probably the most important part of your build. Otherwise, you're going to have to go buy stuff. It is recommended to use one inch piece of wood. However, this MDF is three quarters. It's fine. Okay. I would go with recommendations, but you find MDF in one inch. I couldn't. And you lift one inch MDF that's that freaking huge. I can't. You got your power cable. You've got your cables for your motors that plug into the control box. You've got a crap ton of plastic bags because you're going to take these to Walmart and recycle them. And uh, a box! You have a box. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Probably should have mentioned that I uh, was going to use a tape measure, but that's slightly unnecessary. Ooh. We're going to have this desk at its maximum length, or just shy of it. That's a decision that remains. But for right now, I've already tested this and everything was good. But I want to make my life a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in some of the, uh, well, actually all of the uh, controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift the legs up. So another reason why I chose this location is we have an outlet. Very nice. Fancy. You beep beep. I don't care. Uh, again, we don't need the cable ties, so I'll be disposing of those shortly. Oh, yes. Another part that uh, I missed. Screws for this, which is your part number P10. Sounds so educational, don't I? All right, as I said, we've already tested this before, but I want to go up to a nice, comfortable height. 
of 30 inches. I think I will be comfortable there. I will adjust if I need to. And that's it. We're gonna unplug this. So that way, nothing bad happens. And we're just going to set this in this box right here. It's all nice and cozy. Oh, make sure your cable is down for your motors. And make sure you have a drink. I always forget having a drink whenever I'm working on something. For the sake of honesty, uh, you do need a couple more tools. One, I do recommend using a tape measure. Uh, gets things more accurate than eyeballing it. However, you can eyeball it. It's your choice. Another thing, I forgot about uh, these screws right here that hold this bar in place. Uh, these are, uh, what are they, hex head screws? And let me tell you the size. Excuse me one second. Do, 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 do. That seems about right. That is a uh, five hex head. So that way you can turn these screws and tighten this bar down. Um, getting the thing centered, like same length into this bar as into this one. Uh, good luck. I don't have really a method of doing that. Uh, I'll show you what I do, but other than that, we'll do what we do. Now, I recommend a lot of things apparently. Having a friend help you pull these legs apart without dropping it because these bars, uh, uh, they're, you know, they kind of pull one way and pull out of the other side. So, uh, I don't have any friends. So, not any local. I just unanimously decided on going about 69 inches because nice. The tabletop's 70 inches, and I don't want the legs going all the way to the ends of the tables. I want about two or four inches from the end. So, once you get to that part, it's time to put the wood on. Lift from your legs. Lift from your legs. Always. All right. Let's see if I drop this and end this entire video and series and everything. And here, right. <laughs> Ow! That hurts. Uh, another thing, I lifted up the legs more because um, I don't fit very well. That is a lot longer than I thought. And for the sake of making a video, uh, I wanted to lift the legs up so that way I can get my camera underneath. Now you see here, I went way too far over here. So we're just going to kind of walk this wood over. And this is where everything gets fun and scary. All right, now that we're laying under here, I, uh, the legs are too long, basically put it simple, so now I've got the fun part of trying to do all this alone. Yeah, okay. Uh, first I want to find a basis of what I want to do here. Not only is the weight of the wood being a problem, the paint is slightly sticky. So, let's get a random measurement. Uh, that's uh, approximately seven inches from the front. Uh, we don't want that. We want it to be even. And that's approximately four inches from the back. So, if we got four inches, oh, hang on. 
If we got four inches on one side, ish, and seven inches on the other side, what's in between? I have no idea. I'm kidding. So let's go with five point. Two, five, I don't know. Okay. Now, we get more accurate numbers, see if that was a, a Y at all six. And five and a half. Oh. Brain can't math. This becomes a real pain in the butt. I need a dolly. So it looks like, oh, the, we're at five and an eight. And wow, exactly six inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it back a little bit more. I wanna try to get 5.5. Oh, and over. Again, if you have a friend or family, um, that's very helpful. Uh, okay, that's uh, five and uh, one, two, three eighths. And this side is six. Let's try that one again. Doesn't even look like I moved it. Well, I did a little bit. Damn it. I think I eyeballed this with mine, honestly. Five and a quarter. Five and six. You're not moving. Beating the wood for no reason. This is probably the most tedious part. How do I get so far off? It's like I have to lift it up every time. All right, five and a half. Side's long. I need to come forward just a tiny bit. Five Why can I not hit the five and a half mark? That's all I want. All right, I kind of. I got one side where I want it. It's approximately like it damn near uh, five and three quarters. Um, I decided I just felt like it. Uh, that is uh, not what I thought it was a second ago. Four and three quarters. I mean. It's fine. I get more structural integrity if I went in a little bit. So just lift up a little bit. And what I do is I put my hand in the center while I lift up. And just kind of knock it until I get the measurement I want. Wow! That's on the five inch mark. I'm leaving that alone. That's five and three quarters. This is going to be... Five and three quarters, please be five and three quarters.
That looks good enough to me. All right, so I've got three points that are five and three quarters. So this is what we're gonna do. This is where this leg is gonna go. I am not putting it anywhere else. So right now the uh, bag you're hearing me open is going to be the first screw. I realize everything is black in here. But the first screw going through the first grommet. Like so. Very easy stuff. Light pressure and twist. Do not over torque. First time your screwdriver miss, I do another quarter turn and that's in there. At this point, make sure you check your cables. Make sure they're uh, not being hung up anywhere. And I will just uh, do the other grommet. Let the weight of the tabletop do the force. You're not going to like sit there and like, uh, like try to really pressure it down or anything like that. Make it nice and tight. All right, and then you just have uh, one more screw here. Of course, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, what? Hang on. Dump the screws out on the floor. There we go. That'll work just fine. Oh, that's fine. All right, let me get this camera over to where you can see stuff. Uh, will that work, please? All right, is that good enough? This is where I'm going, right here at the top of your screen there. And this will complete the right side. That's all we want. Now the next step is a uh, pretty self-explanatory here. Ah. Oh. Wish I had a stronger neck. But basically, I am all I'm gonna do is I wanna find the center of these bars. Like if I pull this one out. See that one's actually really long. Okay. So if that one goes there. Oh no. Get back in there. Move the forward. Go forward, please. There we go. Unscrew. Probably should just take these things out at this point. So we've got this. Uh... All right, so if it comes out right there, let's measure. Comes out right there. See this mark that was left by a screw is 14 inches. So let's put it back since it doesn't want to be nice. There we go. So 14 inches goes into there about right there is 14 inches going into that. This is ah, there we go go here so that's a 21 inch span I know we've got 14 inches going in there I moved it probably all right so 23 I'm putting this screw in until I hit it, so that way I know exactly where that is. All right, what is 14 plus 22 and a half? That'd be 36, 36 inches. So cut 36 in half. Well, 15 is 30. 16 is 32. 
right? Yeah, 32. So that's 36 inches. So I want 12 inches. No. I hate thinking three dimensionally. So I have three feet. How do you cut? Okay, foot and a half. Okay, put one foot in there. That's not going to be right. How do I do this? Uh, let's say six inches. Nope. Eight inches. That'd be seven. Okay, there's eight, seven. So right there. So I need five inches that way. We can do that if I can hold this straight. Working upside down is fun! Stay. Stay. Okay. We need a free hand to undo this screw here. We need a free hand to drop the screw onto the floor and never to be seen again. So, we said we need to move five inches? Is that what I said? Because it's right here right now. It's 36 inches, so if we put it, we want it even. Seven inches. Wait, oh, I'm stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven inches is uh, seven and a half inches is what I want, so I need to move that five inches. That's what I said. Because I have a mark here, that'll work out. Make my life easier. Put the five at the mark that accidentally happened to the bar, and I'm going to move that mark down here. Now the bar is even across both. I'm gonna have to make a mark on this one. Well, actually, not really. Okay, there's the hole, because they are the same size. They're both gonna be 36 inches. So I'm gonna put this screw all the way in, hit the screw. So what I need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and take this screw, put it in this hole, because this one could be locked down now. I'm just gonna finger tight it though. All right, that's mostly locked down. And I know that's there, so let's get five inches on the mark here. And when I use my thumb to kind of get a rough idea, right there, that's five inches. And we're gonna lock that down. If there's a better way to do this, I don't know it. And you remember that bit that I was talking to you about earlier? That is somewhere over here. William Shatner, please help. Well, you normally get a hex tool that comes with all this, but I don't know where it is and I don't care. Again, we're. Not trying to bend metal here. Here, let me get just light. We're not trying to bend metal here. We're just snugging everything up so it doesn't move. So I would say finger tight and a half turn. Really get it in there. So there. Oh, my screwdriver stops that and uh, say half turn. Find the hole. There we go. So finger tight and a half turn. You can do quarter turns if you want, but I don't plan this desk going anywhere ever again. Now to find the screw I dropped. Where are you? Hopefully I'm in frame here. Two screws. Yeah. Uh. All right. Now, 
you may have noticed that you still have a couple screws left in that one package. There's a reason why. Control box. Now, you can mount this wherever you please. I like to put it right here because it's nice and totally out of the way. Uh, I just kind of aim for, like, in the middle. Ugh. And if you want stuff in the middle, we use a tape measure. Four and a half. That's definitely not four and a half. Mm, okay, how about five? Everything's coming up five. That's five and a half. So let's go over to five and a quarter. Trusty screwdriver. We try and figure out how to do this one handed. And I am placing, keep this in mind as you're building stuff, I'm putting the AC cord on this side, the right side, coming out the right side of the desk. Holding it very tough. All right, that's one. Now this thing only weighs like a couple ounces, so you don't have to go ridiculous with the torque here. Centering it. Ah, whoa, whoa, what happened there? You just took my whole screwdriver there. <laughs> in the wood. All right. After that, you just kind of plug everything in. I mean, pretty self-explanatory how to do that. Uh, let me show you how I cover up these uh, little blemishes. All right. I did a small bit of cable management, but for right now, we are down to the wire of the last couple of things I want to do here. First, I want to make this as flush as possible. Kind of hard to do with the plastic on. You take the last two screws you had, which were the P10 screws, find the uh, hole that it goes in. Yes, that's right. I'm just an idiot. Now, I these holes are elongated. So, you could put it all the way back or all the way forward. I want to give some options and adjustments, if need be, to be able to push this back if it requires it. So I want to be right there. Did I like that? Is that centered? Mm. That's about where I want it. Yeah. And before I tighten that down, we're going to grab the second screw, put it through the hole. Make sure I'm all the way back so that way I have some adjustments if I need to. And 
and my battery's dying. Isn't that wonderful? All right, we're gonna push that back just a tidbit. We're gonna get back on the first screw. Alrighty. Let's tighten that up a little bit. manage this however we please. Uh, I kind of like shoving things up in uh, little spaces. One of the things I did with my desk is I actually ran this cable here which you have to take this screw out to do that but I'm not going to do that. All we got left is plugging it in. So we are on this side with plug. Trying to do this blind. First try, how about that? Now I gotta plug it into the wall. We have a beep! We are at its lowest. I think it goes lower than that, actually. Nope. Now what's... Program these buttons pretty easy. Once you get to a uh, certain height, you just hit memory and hit the number. and 50 inches 50.1 to be precise that is a tall boy okay pickles peoples easiest thing I can think of q-tip paint q-tip go into paint Drip, drip, drip. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Stop the dripping. Yeah, that's good enough. Blemish. All gone. Just let that dry before anybody touches it, and we're all set. Wow, that looks terrible. Hang on. My view and the camera's view are not exactly seeing the same thing. I need a light to do this correctly, but you get the general idea. That's pretty much it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my content. I hope you guys enjoyed on learning a new skill and making all the mistakes that I've made and maybe you can do a little bit better with. But, here she is. Like and subscribe. I can't go that low. Help! Help! My back! Oh!